Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome to another episode of the podcast A Coffee with the Angels. I'm very happy to receive you here today. Thank you for joining me, for taking the time to just get your coffee, get your tea, and just chat with me for a few minutes in order for us to grow and to learn something together. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about who we are. Who are you? Exactly right now in this moment in your life, who are you? It's something you really need to think about. So let's get into this episode. So let's begin talking. Let's talk about this energy of who are you? Who am I? Who are you? <laughs> so lately in, in, in almost, not almost all my sessions, but in a very strong way, the angels have been talking about um, the importance of us understanding that we manifest we don't manifest what we want, but we actually manifest who we are and what we are placing out there, what we're bringing to the world. So what I want you to think about, that's why I was talking about who are you? Think about who are you today? Which kind of energy, which kind of vibration are you bringing to the world? Are you the kind of person who is actively doing something to make this place a better place to live? To make world different, more peaceful, more loving, more compassionate, more balanced even, more fair? Or are you one of those who are, I mean, who, who really want this to happen, who really want, who really want life on earth to get better, but you're not actually doing absolutely anything to do that, to make that change? Because it is really up to us. Nobody's going to do it, right? We are really the constructors here, <laughs> the ones who are building this new life, this, this better life, this better place to live. So that's why the angels were, were talking about this, you know, like, think about that. Think about who are you? What kind of person are you? Are you coming from a place of lack, a place of need? A place where you're always asking, asking, asking. I need this. I need that. Give me this. Give me that. But when it comes to you doing something for someone else, to you giving something for someone else, you're not that person. You know, are you the person who is always asking for money, money, money? I need money. I need money. But are you capable of giving like one dollar to someone? Are you doing that? Are you giving to the world what you're asking for? You know, very, very often, like every day, actually, I receive many messages on my Instagram, on my YouTube, on my, on my, even on my, my email. People every single day, many of them asking me for, for a reading, for Reiki healing for angel healing, like asking, asking, oh, it's my birthday. Give me a message. Oh, pull a card from me. I just need to know this. Oh, can you please do a healing for me? Because I, I'm, I'm going through this. Oh, my parents are going through this. Can you do that? Asking, asking, asking. And very often these people, they, they've never even said hi to me. They've never even liked a video or shared a video or left me a nice comment even <laughs> and what i want you to understand here beautiful soul is is exactly the vibration of this the lack the need but you're not actually doing anything for anyone you're not actually helping anybody you're not not actually doing anything else because you are the victim and the whole world needs to fill you up needs to do things for you that's not how it how this works the universe, the universe is so perfect, is so beautiful. Everything is, so, is in such a perfect balance that it really brings up this, this balance of, you know, what you give is what you get, basically, period. 
you know, it wouldn't even be fair if people who are completely, you know, terrible and mean and negative and, you know, begging and asking all the time and they are in the top of life, you know, having the most wonderful and beautiful life, they actually wouldn't even be there, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't be asking, they wouldn't be complaining, they wouldn't be, you know, begging and begging, even though they, you know, like, if they have a perfect life, right? So it's something for you to think about, you know, because we get who we are, we receive who we are, we manifest who we are, we manifest what we're doing for others as well. And we're going through a moment of growth on earth, you know, expansion of the consciousness of the collective, a change in the vibration for everybody. And because of this shift, we need to start looking within. We need to start looking at ourselves because once we choose to change here, the collective will also benefit from it because we are all connected. So once you start to shift this lack, this need, this, you know, bagging energy, and you place yourself in a place of, of, of abundance, of gratitude, of being, oh my God, this is so strong. The angels are asking us so much about this lately. Being at service, being at service, helping, doing things for others as well, creating this balance because your life is not balanced because you are not creating balance in any way. You know, I, I want everyone to be nice to me, but are you being nice to everyone? I don't want people to judge me, but are you judging others? You need to think about what you're placing out there. Are you complaining that there is trash on the street? But are you one of those who, you know, just had a, just had some chips and, you know, you don't find any place to, to, to throw away your pack? And then you just, ah, you know, I don't have anywhere to put it, so I'm just going to dump it here on, on you know on the street on the corner nobody's gonna see it it's not about anybody seeing it it's about what you're placing out there you could keep it that's what i do at least i always put it in my bag and then when i get home i, I put it in the trash but i mean who are you exactly here what is your what is your place in all of this what are you doing here you know, like I told you, are you one of those who is always asking for money, but are you capable of giving 50 cents to someone who has no food on the street or who, to someone, even if you don't want to give it to the street people, but, you know, to, to, I don't know, to just donate something for someone. Are you capable, capable of doing that? Are you capable of, of getting clothes that you don't use for 15 years and donating them? Like, you need to understand this. You need to understand where you are and who you are in all of this. What are you doing? What are you giving? You know, as I told you, are you supporting people? Are you helping them grow as well? Are you helping them become someone better? Are you are you helping life on earth to be better? Actively. Actively. Ah, oh, but you know, I do my work. My work is to help other people. So it's fine. I'm already doing it and I'm not getting anything. You are not a victim. Get away from that energy. You're not a victim. Are you doing your work because you love it or because you're there for the money or because you're there because you have to be there? Pay attention to the difference of the energy here. Are you doing it because you love, because you feel inspired to do it or are you doing it because you need it? Mm. think about that as the other day i heard um ralph smart uh talking and i loved it and that got so stuck in my mind um and he said and i want to ask you this as well right now are you producing something are you the producer or are you the consumer consumer is that how you say it <laughs> are you the one who's always you know, buying and buying and getting and give it, give it to me, give me, give me, give me and using and using and getting things from everyone? Or are you the one who is actually producing things for people, helping people in some way, doing things for others? You need to find that balance. You need to find that balance. You're not here just to take. You're also here to give because that's the law of giving and, and receiving, of balance in the universe. 
which energy are you coming from? Are you coming from the lack, the need, the victim, the the complaining, the negative, the, the you know, the world is terrible and everyone needs to feel me. Everyone needs to do everything for me. But I'm not going to do anything for anybody because I'm already doing a lot. Are you? Are you doing from your heart? Are you doing with love? Are you doing because you care? Because you want people to grow? Because you want to see people also growing? Also getting a better life? Growing with you? Receiving money with you? Being recognized with you? Or it's me. It's all about me. I need to grow. I need to be recognized. I need to get money. I need to receive this. I need to receive that. Who are you? Who are you? You need to reflect upon that. You need to think about it. That's what I invite you right now. Think about who are you? What are you doing there? What are you placing out there? What are you doing to help other people? Are you being at service? Are you really being actively creating a better life, a better world, a better place for us to live? Or are you just one of those who's crossing arms, complaining and expecting everyone to do everything for you? Which energy are you coming from? Shift that vibration. You need to have more awareness, more understanding, more conscious. But you need to be more conscious about you, about your energy, about who you are, about what you are doing, about your role here. Your role over your life and over the place where we live. You need to understand that's about this growth. That's about expansion. That's about flowing in life that's how you get flow that's how things happen for you that's how you manifest that's how things start to really come to you in an easy way because you are in that flow because you are doing that as well because you are you you are it you have to become it and and to become it in order for you to become it the things that you want to experience you need to be it you need to start doing it as well you need to build this, construct this. As I said, we are the constructors here, the builders. So remember that, beautiful soul. Shift that understanding. Shift that kind of mindset, that kind of vibration. Open your mind for this. The universe is perfect. It's always in harmony, always keeping the balance, always. So look around and think and ask, who are you who am i how can i do something different today how can i shift this how can i start helping the planet helping other people how can i how can i start doing something that does make a difference how can i be and do for someone else what i am seeking to experience That's the message I have for you today. That's what I really wanted to think about and to reflect upon. To really look into yourself and make that decision to do it differently. To be actively making this place, this world, a better place. Because it depends on me and also on you. We are together in this. We are one. Hands on. Hands on together holding hands and not people are not here to drag you people are not here to carry you we have to carry one another together that's how we get there trust change and look within understand who you are first and how can you be a better person and make this a better place Thank you so much for joining me, beautiful soul. I hope this resonated and I hope this brought you some kind of understanding about yourself because that's what I'm here for. And I wish you a wonderful and a blessed day. Don't forget to join the Beautiful Souls tribe. I'm going to leave the link in the description here. Um, you're going to receive free, <laughs> free, you see, free uh, angel messages every day, lots of inspirations, very exclusive content in the Beautiful Souls tribe. So make sure you join, you join our tribe, our family. Um, if you're new here, also welcome. If you're watching me on YouTube, subscribe. If you're listening to my podcast um, in any of the podcast platforms, make sure you join. 
uh, you follow me and of course if this inspired you somehow please share it sharing is caring <laughs> share it with other people that's how we also help the planet to rise bringing more awareness to more people you i need your help so let's do this together Thank you so much, beautiful soul. I wish you a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Love yourself more than ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.